weight, 116.8, 20.3% body fat. Good morning. I weighed myself this morning and I'm apparently 116.8 pounds, but really it means nothing at this point because halfway through the day I weigh 118 pounds and my coach has reinstated a billion times that my actual weight isn't important. So I'm just kind of weighing myself now just to see, but it really doesn't tell me anything and I, I'm not putting too much energy or emphasis on it. But I am having breakfast right now. And I only get one high carb day now until, well, until he changes it again. So I have one egg, one, one egg, one cup of egg whites, half cup of oatmeal, half cup of blueberries, giant decaf coffee because I was too lazy to make real coffee. My sister is, <laughs> my sister's coming to hang out with me today and we're gonna go shopping. It is a really nasty day out today too. There's Skylar. Hi Skylar. But the plan is we're just gonna go shopping downtown and just hang out tonight and have a fun girls night. So I'm excited about that. And it's a great way to kick off 10 weeks out. Right, babe? That's right. That's right. You found us in our element. Our absolute favorite place to be. Shopping for workout clothes. Ah. Not that I actually ever need more workout clothes, but you always need more workout clothes. So this is how you stay on track of your diet when you're going out for lunch. So it's just chicken, broccoli, and some sides. So it's right on track. This is what my sister got. What did you get? Chicken burger wrapped in lettuce. Some bacon. And broccoli. And broccoli. That's pretty good. Yeah. We're at the tattoo place. Someone's getting their first ever tattoo. He's coming right now, so we gotta go. What? Go for it. What, cream soda? Yeah. Or cherry cream soda? Just go for it, babe. Whatever one you want. Orange or no, Orange. So things did not go according to plan this evening and we went on a little bit of a, a road trip adventure to take my sister home <clears throat> after her tattoo appointment which tattoo looks good and she's home safe and sound so that's all that matters. But we had to take a little detour. That's all. Luckily though I did pack two of my meals for my sister's tattoo appointment so I ended up having those on the ride out to take her home. But I'm running out of food. Actually, I ran out of food. I have no food left and two meals to eat, so I've got to improvise. So I'm improvising right now. So this is my improvisation. I'm supposed to eat two more meals and low carb, high protein. So this is what's happening. Hug it. Happy Tuesday! Oh wait, it's not Tuesday, it's Monday. Yeah, that's how I'm starting out my week. So, happy Monday! Yesterday did not go according to plan. Uh, my sister got her tattoo. I didn't film much because I was too busy holding her hand. <laughs> she was fine, she's had two kids, she was, she was fine. Skylar and I had to kind of do a little road trip further than we expected and honestly, I haven't had an appetite for a couple of weeks now. I'm surprised, but I'm actually having a hard time eating the same thing all the time. I'm having a bit of a hard time stomaching all the food all the time. And we haven't really made any big cuts to calories or meals. I'm still eating six times a day. I'm still eating quite a lot of calories, so still waiting for that to change and just on my way to do my first session of cardio this week. 
Um, it's raining in Vancouver. Shocking, I know. And yet, I always refuse to bring an umbrella anywhere that I go. That rhymed. Just finished my second session of cardio. And as I've been struggling to do the whole 45 minutes, I've been recently watching CrossFit game highlight videos. I highly recommend, if you need a little extra push, just Google the highlight reels of CrossFit games. Be prepared to want to rip your shirt off and scream like a warrior. Well, I'm on my way to the gym, and what did I bring? My umbrella, because it was raining earlier. And I thought, okay, fine. I surrender, I'm gonna bring my umbrella. As soon as I step outside, I see that it's not raining anymore. Now I have to carry my umbrella to the gym and back. We're in our favorite place. Right, babe? At the store. I've gone to work, gone to the gym, got my nails done. Now we're getting groceries. Skylar's actually getting all the wonderful, delicious variety of ingredients, and I'm just here to pick up protein and really boring food. Green beans. Them damn green beans, I tell ya. <laughs> Just at Red Robin celebrating Skylar's birthday today, and I've been pounding around all day so far. They've had a pancake breakfast. We did go to the gym, and now we're having a free birthday burger. Well, I'm not, but this is what Skylar's having. Wow, free birthday burger. Look at that. Let's just see what I'm having. Oh. <laughs> Headed to the gym to do my last bit of cardio for the week. I haven't had the best week to be honest. I'm not feeling very good about where I'm at. I'm pretty much sitting at the same weight, if not sometimes I'm a little heavier depending what time of the day I weigh myself. So just can't really tell. I don't really have any like scientific, tangible measurements of progress. Nine weeks is coming to an end, and tomorrow is officially eight weeks out, which is nuts. And I'm assuming at some point, things are gonna change. They're gonna change really quickly. So, just gonna hammer out 45 minutes on the stupid stair mill. And then, tonight I'm hitting legs at the gym. So that's my Friday so far. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up the end of this week with a Q&A. I posted a photo on my Instagram and asked anyone if they had any questions they wanted me to answer in a video to leave them under the photo. So I have a few 
questions from you guys that I'm really excited to answer. I haven't really rehearsed it or anything. I, I know a few of the questions, but I just kind of want to go off the top of my head because... So the first question is, how do I stay so motivated? I guess the short answer is that you have to have a goal that is more important than any excuse you can come up with. And I know that sounds super cheesy, but for me, I'm just a very competitive person. I just get so much fulfillment from, you know, competing. So that's kind of how I've stayed motivated over the years. I've just tried different things. I've tried actually playing soccer. I've played roller derby. I've gone and tried CrossFit. And now I'm doing this bodybuilding competition. I am just very competitive and it doesn't have to be with anybody else. It can just be with myself. Um, so that's kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. So for others to help you be motivated, I would strongly suggest coming up with short-term goals and long-term goals. So a long-term goal can be weight loss or you know improving your performance as an athlete, but short-term goals have to be attainable goals that you can make along the way that's gonna continue to motivate you to get there. Lots of short-term goals for me usually are just at the gym lifting weights and increasing that, that weight over time. Um, when I was playing sports, short-term goals were that I would um, learn a new move or trick. So these are all short-term goals that can lead to the overall goal of being the best that you can be. Um, the next question was, what is my favorite sports bra? And um, I, you will definitely have seen this one around in a lot of my photos. Actually, I have two, so this is the other one. And these are Victoria's Secret bras, and I will put the information um, in the video here of which bra it is, because I can't remember the name off my heart. But the reason this is my favorite bra is because they are so supportive. I personally really like the feeling of being like completely locked in no matter what I'm doing, and feeling very supported, and this one, actually has molded cups which I love and it has a zipper up front because I'm in and out of sports bras five to six days a week so the easier it is to get it on and off and wash it the better. Next question is how many hours should I wait after I eat to work out and this is a very subjective question personally for me depends on what kind of workout you're gonna do and also it just depends what you're eating for me I eat six meals a day, so they're smaller meals, around 300 calories per meal, so I'm not eating a ton of food at once, so I can break it up. I generally will eat an hour before I work out, but again, it's a light meal. Um, it's always good to have some fuel, some something in your, in your stomach when you're working out, because you need that energy. Um, when I was playing sports, I would do the best that I could and I'd have like an energy bar or something like that before a game and then try and snack on a little something at halftime. Um, but you just kind of have to play around and see what works best for you after your workout or whatever your activity you're doing. It is so important to refuel and eat something right away. If it's not a protein shake, then you know, some a small meal as soon as you're done so that you can give your muscles and your body what it needs to restore and recover. Next question is, what is the best back of the shoulder workout? So I guess that would be your rear delt. So your shoulders are made up of three kind of main muscles, which is your front delt, your lateral, and your rear. My favorite rear delt exercise currently is the cable crossover. So that's with a cable machine and you are um, standing upright and you take the cables and you bring them across your body like this and out to the sides and you do not need hardly any weight at all. I don't think I put any extra weight on and it does, it completely engages your rear delts. Another question was, what is my favorite coffee drink? Um, I definitely have a go-to. I'd go to Starbucks just simply because they're very consistent there and you can pretty much get always a dairy alternative because I don't drink cream. Um, I also make coffee at home <sighs> in a French press. I am really, I'm just strongly, strongly in love, addicted to coffee. At Starbucks, I get an almond milk latte, a tall. So I choose almond milk because it's actually got a bit of protein, it's very low sugar, very low calorie. I just, and I really like my coffee strong and I do not add any sugar, I do not add any sweetener. And back in the day, I used to love, you know, Tim Hortons coffee, double-double, so much sugar, so much cream, but I've learned a lot about my 
digestive system, allergies, diet, all that, and it's really actually terrible for you. So I've weaned myself off of sugar and learned to really appreciate the taste of coffee on its own. If you're like me and you wanna have it every single day, which I do have coffee every day, you've gotta find a, a way to have a balance with it so that it's not, again, the way of you you know, reaching your goals. I plan to hopefully be drinking coffee all the way through my prep, so I'm really hoping that that's one thing that doesn't change. Okay, and the next question is, where can I find gym clothes for my teeny tiny body because I'm 4'9", and um, that's the question. I'm actually 5'1"-ish, and I would say that for me to find the gym clothes that fit is I always end up wearing capris and I just buy capri pants because I'm short. Um, Lululemon also hems things, but it's expensive. So that's pretty much how I get away with finding clothes that fit, sports bras. Um, I'm pretty average up top. I'm not super teeny tiny up top, but um, like the Victoria's Secret sports bra I love too because it has adjustable straps. They're really, really wide. They can go, I have no shoulders, believe it or not. So I have to put everything super, super tight and for, for bras and sports bras. So I like anything that has an adjustable strap in a sports bra. And then in terms of pants, just capris extra small and that's pretty much it and the last one I'm gonna answer I do have some more here but it's actually taking me a while to go through them so I'm gonna do some more in my next video the last one I'm gonna answer today is what can I do to get rid of that like side boob extra just that side boob you know extra stuff that we get so you're not probably gonna love this answer but the truth is you can't really target any specific area of your body to eliminate any kind of extra body fat overall it's gonna have to come from diet and unfortunately for women I find at least for myself that weight loss doesn't always just go start in the place you want it to it ends up going everywhere else and then finally it hits that spot at the end but that's just the way that it is um, so the first thing I would suggest if you're feeling like you have a little extra anywhere on your body is to really clean up your diet and really focus on eating good healthy foods to keep your energy up and to recover from your workouts um, but this area is part of your 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 lats and um, in your chest so you need to work out those areas great movements if you're at home I would suggest would be push-ups planks um, if you're in the gym, you want to be doing the lat pull down. Another one for home is Superman's, which I have tutorials on my page if you want to know what those are. Um, inchworms, anything that's going to engage these these muscles underneath here and on your chest. And honestly, I never had, I never worked out my chest on my own before doing the bodybuilding competition and having a coach and I just didn't feel the need to. I always was more focused on my back and other my legs especially but never my chest and my coach has gotten me to do a full day of chest as part of my workout plan and I've seen such development and changes in my back and my shoulders underneath here the side boob all of that from working my chest so I want women to know that we should be working our chest as well. Don't, like, don't worry about bulking out or anything like that. It's such a myth. It takes so much work. Trust me, I'm trying very, very hard, and it's not easy. Um, but work, work your chest, work your back, work your shoulders, work your entire upper body because that's the way that you're going to be able to target all those muscles. Because we're built up of so many different muscles, not just like one here that you can just crank on and get rid of a certain area. And I guess the overall answer is that you have to just commit to a healthier diet and you know weight training for women i would just say that's always the the secret is a healthy diet high protein diet and lifting weights that's that's always how you're going to get the results that you want to get six or seven more questions but i'm just going to put that over to my next video and so i just want to thank everyone for sending in your questions and i will answer them in the next video which I've already said and you guys are awesome and I'm excited to start another week so good night